Hello Internet, I am Mihai. It is the second episode of the Jenkins Pipeline tutorial. Let's start. In this video, we will create a Git repository, create a Node.js web server, and run the web server. Let's start with the repository. I go to my GitHub account and I will create a Git repository. So I click New, and in the repository name, I write Jenkins Pipeline Tutorial double underscore node.js dash backend. Description is empty, repository is public, we don't add a readme file, no git ignore, and no license file. Click on create repository. The repository is created. Now I want to create a project to group the repositories. I go to projects, select classic, new project and create classic project. The project name will be Jenkins Pipeline Tutorial. No description, no template, public and linking the repository we created before. Create project. Let's check what we created. I go to my main page, I go to repositories, the repository is created, it is public, go to projects, classic, and the project is created, Jenkins Pipeline Tutorial. Now I go back to the repository, we will need it later to use the instruction. Let's start writing the Node.js web server. First you have to check if you have Node.js and NPM installed. Open the terminal. I am on a Linux machine. But if you are on a Windows or Mac, your terminal will look a bit different. But the commands are the same. To check for Node.js, you write the command node dash dash version. So if you see the version, Node.js is installed. Now let's check for npm, npm dash dash version. I see the version, it means npm is installed. Again, if you see the version, everything is installed and it should work. If you got an error, you need to install the Node.js. Otherwise, you will not be able to proceed further. I will not cover the installation of Node.js. There are already hundreds of tutorials how to install it. You can find a tutorial by yourself. Or you can go to the nodejs.org, select other downloads, and here you select the proper installer. I assume Node.js is installed. Let's continue. Close Node.js tab. I'm going to create a folder Node.js backend. So new folder Node.js dash backend. Enter. Go to the folder. Now I close the terminal. Open a new terminal inside this folder. Check if the path is correct. And now I write the command npm init. Enter. Package name Node.js backend. Enter. Version 1. Description. No description. Entry point, it is src slash index.js. Enter, test command empty, git repository. You go to git repository, select https and copy the URL. Past it, enter, no keywords, author, Mihai, no license. Yes, everything is good. The command created the package.json file. Let's check. It is here. We'll check and modify the file a bit later. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. It is not mandatory. You can use any other editor. Now I open the Visual Studio Code in the created folder. Here is the package.json. Now I save the workspace. The workspace is correct. The path is correct. Save. And I close the Visual Studio code and open it again. Now I want to modify the package.json file. Remember, it was generated by npm init command. Open the file and I will delete several entries. Scripts leave test empty. I remove the license, I remove the box, and I remove the home page. Save. Now it is time to initiate the Git repository. The best way is to follow the instructions on GitHub. I go back to the terminal, it is here, and I write git init. 
move it a bit right. Okay. So the repository is initiated. You have to see a dot git folder. Now I want to create the git ignore file. I go to VS Code and create a new file dot git ignore. Enter. And in this file, I want to add the code workspace. The hashtag stays for the comment. And now I write splat dot code dash workspace save. There is no need to push the code workspace file because it stores your personal settings of Visual Studio Code. Let's check the git status. Write the command git space status. And here you see the git ignore file, the package JSON file, but you don't see node.js backend.code workspace because it is ignored. Let's add the files to the git stage. Git add git ignore. Git add package JSON. Check the status again. So buff files are staged and they are ready to be committed. Write the command git commit dash m it stands for the message and the message will be first commit enter i go back to the github to check the instruction so we did the first commit now it's the time to rename the branch copy the command pass it in the terminal enter now you see the branch is main the next step is to add the remote I will use SSH protocol, but if you are not familiar with it and you don't know how to use it, select HTTPS. It is simpler for the beginners. Copy. Go to the terminal, pass the command, enter. The next step is to push to the remote repository. Copy the command, pass it in the terminal, enter. Let's wait. And it was pushed. Let's check it on GitHub. So refresh the page and you can see our files. We have the git ignore, we have the package JSON, and if we click on the commits history, you see only just one commit with the message first commit. Right, go to next steps. We need to install one npm module to write and run the server. Open the terminal and write the command npm install express. Enter. The Express module should be installed. Let's check it. So it created the node modules folder. Here is the Express we installed and all the dependencies Express requires. It created the package log JSON. It is a very big file. I will not read it aloud. If we open package.json, we see here express and the version let's commit our changes but before we do it we have to ignore the node modules folder now i just copy the name of node modules open git ignore file and put here the path to the node modules folder now i will add the files to the stage I add the git ignore, I add package log JSON, and I add package JSON. The commit message is installed express module, enter, create node JS server, and commit. Well done, now create the SRC folder. New folder, src, enter, and create the server.js file, enter. Very good. Let's import the express module. I'm going to write const express equals to require, and in the brackets, express, save. Let's declare the app variable, const app equals express. And now we will create a function to start the server. Start server. 
we pass one variable, it is the port number. And it will be app.listen port the semicolon, it will be console log the server is listening at 1.7001 colon and writing the variable port and we will need a global variable it will be server start timestamp equals to get timestamp the method will create it a bit later but the variable we will declare it now let I will just copy the name and the variables is declared. Now I will create the get timestamp method. Function get timestamp enter. We need the date now equals new date. We need the timestamp of the current time. It is date now dot get time. And we return the timestamp. Let's check if timestamp works. Let's call the method. It is console log get timestamp. Open the terminal and write node src slash server js. Enter. And here is the timestamp. It means the method works calling again and we see another timestamp. I close the terminal, I will delete the test line and I will commit our work. Checking the file, adding to the stage and writing the commit message created timestamp new line create node.js server. Click commit. Now let's create the get path. Go back to server.js, writing up, get, slash, request and response, putting semicolon and writing const timestamp equals to get timestamp. We need to calculate the running time, I will put a comment, calculate the running time. Oh, have a typo. Now we need to check for how much time the serve is running. Running time equals to timestamp now minus server start timestamp. So now we know how many milliseconds the server is running. We have to Convert it to seconds, it is running time seconds equals to math dot floor and running time divide by 1000. Now we generate the response message. It is const response message equals to the time now is timestamp new line in HTML plus the server is running for running timestamp seconds seconds again adding a new line up version process dot env dot npm package version. The npm package version variable will show us the version from the package JSON file. It means it will show us one zero zero. Go back to server.js and send the response back to the browser. Writing res status code equals 200 and response 
send response message. Unfortunately, we cannot test it now. Let's commit and test it later. Checking the file, we edit everything we wanted. At the stage, writing the commit message, created get path, new line, create node.js server, and commit. Now we should create another JS file to run the server. I create in the SRC folder the file index.js. Enter. Now we import the server equals require and writing the path to our server and start the server on port 15476 or any other port you like. One more thing, we have to export the start server so that we can use it. I write module dot exports equals and in curly brackets I write start server. It is this method in the line six. Okay, the app is ready. Let's run it. Open the terminal and write the command node src index.js. Enter. We have the message server is listening at 127001154767. Copy. Open the browser, a new tab, enter. Voila, we have the server running. We have the timestamp, we have the time for how many seconds the server is running, but the app version is undefined. Let's fix it. We stop the server, press Ctrl C, open package.json, and here in the scripts we write start colon node src slash index.js and put a comma. Save. Let's start the server again, but this time we will use npm. Go to the terminal and write npm run start. Oh, I have a mistake. Let's fix it. So the error is I made a mistake in the file name. It is not index, it is index. I renamed it. Now let's try to run the npm again. npm run start, enter and it works. Server is listening at the same path. Open the browser, refresh the page, and now we can see the app version. Very good, guys. The version is displayed. Let's commit. Open the terminal, stop the server. I add the files to git stage. So package.json is OK. Index.js is OK. Server.js is also okay. Everything is added in the stage. I write the commit message, created index.js first server running, new line, create node.js server and commit. I want to add one more feature. Please open server.js and I will write the fail power. It allows us to force the server into a fail. So I write app.get the path will be fail, comma, request response get query parameters const request query equals request dot query enter const request probability equals request query probability it will return as a string, but we need to convert it to a number. So we just write the plus sign before the variable. 
calculate the probability. So the default status code will be 200. If math random, it will generate a random number between zero inclusive and one exclusive is less than request probability divided by 100. Then the status code will be 500. Enter, save, and send the response. Response.statuscode equals to status code and response send. The message will be status code is status code. Save. It is time to test it. Open the terminal. Again, run it. npm run start. The server is running. Go to the web browser, refresh the page, and now we have to write the path fail. So the status code is 200. We can check it also more advanced. Right click on the page, go to inspect, go to the network tab, refresh the page, and you, you see the status 200. Now let's change the fail probability. I write question mark probability equals 80. It means the server, the response will fail with a probability of 80%. Enter. The page is reloaded and the response failed. Refresh the page. Response is OK. Refresh the page. It failed. It failed. Refresh again. It failed. It is OK. It failed. It failed and so on. OK, enough of fun. Stop the server and commit the message. So Control-C to stop the server. I check changes in the server.js. Everything looks good. Adding it to the stage and write the commit message, create, fail, path. New line, create node.js server and commit. I'm going to push everything to GitHub. I go to the terminal and write git push. Wait a while and Everything was pushed. Let's check on GitHub. Refresh the page. And we can see our files. Everything is in place. Let's check the commit history. And here we have our commits. If we click on the three dots, we see that message from the second line of the commit message. It is all, guys. Now you have your own Node.js server. Thank you for watching.